Hello and welcome to another hackathon vlog. My name is Maria and I signed up for two hackathons in a row. That's a lot. But it's also like probably my last hackathon or maybe like one of the last ones. And this one is Tree Hacks, which is a Stanford hackathon. And I'm doing it with my friend Alan, who you have seen in other videos. He's gonna carry us this weekend. I don't know who our other teammates will be if we can find other teammates because Alan already embarrassed me by posting about it like on the slack no, not even saying our schools he just put which companies we have worked at previously and said that we're in it to win it and I was like oh my god and he even he even tagged me and also the prizes look really cool like one of them is you can win a macbook pro or a nintendo switch or a thousand dollars uber eats credits that's crazy I've never seen that or electric scooter I want the electric scooter we didn't get the adult scooter last time this time I'm going for electric scooter so after I arrived home from the pub at my university and you know drinking with my friends on a Friday night before hackathon <clears throat> like the other time I did two girls had joined our team and they're both from America and super smart and really fun to work with so at around 9 p.m. is when we all joined a discord video call and then we were trying to come up with a bunch of different ideas based on the different tracks that they had like sustainability and like web 3 and all that stuff the weird one was the Tamagotchi NFT thing that I kept trying to bring up and then in the end we decided to go with a fidget sign language game and this was like after three hours of talking about it because I think coming up with an idea is the hardest part it was because at the pub I met a friend of a friend who was using a fidget cube and I asked him about it and he said that he doesn't know if he has ADHD but it really helps him I thought that was interesting and I was like how can we do this like as an app or like a game so now I'm just gonna let Maria from the past try to explain the idea that we came up with. We can make a fidget sign language game where you can have like six different words. Like you know how Fidget Cube has six different sides. So I was thinking maybe like, oh, six different uh, words or like letters that you're learning or numbers or something that you're signing. Maybe like in Duolingo, like they'll bring back stuff that you already learned before. So five of them could be new and one of them could be old that you already know since so a review. One of my teammates brought up music and we're like, oh, maybe we can do a music looper type of game with hand gestures to control the music and play certain notes or like different instruments. At the same time, like Alan went downstairs to his kitchen and then one of the girls, both of them at the same time, like Alan ran it and then she said it. They're like, oh, what about Guitar Hero but by, by ASL? So then you can learn, I guess, uh, sign language and that kind of stuff. So I was thinking, yeah, like Guitar Hero, like the notes or like Osu, like the notes come in and then you have to sign it each note would be a different sign. So maybe we could do both. That's what we were thinking at the end. First to do the music one, like you can generate a song and then you can play the song or get other people to play it with this, with ASL. So it would help people learn it. We had way too many ideas and they're all, all over the place. Like none of my teammates are awake yet. We decided to meet 10.30 and it's still like, yeah, it's not 10 yet. It's almost 10. So I'm just going to get started with this because I know we're going to need it. Because the first step is to actually do like this deep learning for the signs. Then we can figure out yeah how to do different sounds, like how to convert the ASL to audio. That would be cool. Yes, finally my WGET works. Now I can get this tar of the MNS sign language. Very nice. Look at how terrifying this is. This is a test and training data. So I untarred it. Oof. It's all going over my head. I need to actually properly read this and understand how it's doing things so that like we'll have this set up and then we can build our own thing. Okay, so we decided that 
we're going to split up the work so i'm going to try to do like finish the tutorial with the pytorch and try to understand it and like get it working with opencv see how fast the recognition is and then alan's trying to figure out like um how we can get this camera open on the front end and like sending information to the back end because we need to get the re recognition and then give the score back to the front end like did they get it right or not and like how fast is that going to be so alan's going to try to do the back end for now and then the two other girls are going to try to work together on the front end using js but i think it's good i think it's going to be funny and people are interested in what we're making like we're all interested in it i think if we can just get parts of it done like maybe not the full thing but it's like a moonshot idea which is one of the prize categories or it's also very creative i think so i think this will be fun i want to try the machine learning part of it and also i want to be the one trying to design it that's what i said like i've never been a designer at hackathon so i want to try to design it also i missed out on the free food yesterday because they gave you a doordash code and they didn't tell me it was only for yesterday apparently they also have it for the clothing ceremony so i'll try to use it then Okay, I finished writing the code from the tutorial and now it's time to test it. Yeah, moment of truth, I guess, with the camera. Erg, no, I have reshaping errors. Gotta try fixing this. That's always that's the most annoying. I'm working with NumPy. Oh my god, this is so garbage. I'm trying to test this and it's just so off because it has to be centered and like in a clear background. It just goes like off. I have to center it and it's still... Okay, if I get out of the way, it will not get A. It can get D if I kind of like, yeah, if I if, if I center everything, it got D. But the other ones, no. I'm gonna either try to find messier data or I'm gonna try to watch this other video tutorial that uses TensorFlow instead and see what data set that they used or if I should try TensorFlow instead of PyTorch. I don't know at this point. I should get this part working so the people in the front end have something to use, I guess. Okay, now, I think like if I center the thing, then it works, but I don't know where the center is. So I wanna try to draw a square, like a rectangle around it as an outline for me to know where to put my hand. Okay, I don't think adding the box helps whatsoever because the box is just the entire frame, which is stupid. And yeah, the data set is all over the place. Like it's too hard. I need a messier data set, but this is like the one that everyone uses. I'm gonna try to find other data sets, see if they're better. Like the top one is the one I'm using, but it's too overfitted. Oh my God, how do people use this? Okay, okay, I did it. Let me see. This is F. Okay, come on. F, L. Oh fuck, L. This should be D, D. Come on, come on, go go ahead. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, yes. Yay, we did it, kind of. Okay, I have been testing the letters. The ones it knows well are F, L, H. I think X is this, something like this. Oh no, X is this. And then Y, no, this is V, that's Y. Oh, Y is this, because it's so like distinct, right? So then, because some of them really look similar. So if I do, I think this is G and then this is H. So then it always sees H for some reason and not G. I don't know how to like position my hand to do it properly. It's working. Oh yeah, it is. It's printing. Very nice. Whoa, okay, this is good, okay. What is that, L? Oh my God. Okay, but it was doing well for like a minute. Okay, our friend told us not to try to redo all of the like using a different framework. So he just said like fix the pre-processing. So we're gonna try that. And I'm forcing Alan to do it because I wanna go eat dinner. <laughs> These images are terrible, oh my God. Well, I think anything can improve this. <laughs> One of the girls is doing the machine learning, trying to redo it because we're bad. The data set that I used, I knew it was terrible. So then we're trying to redo it to make it more accurate. And the other girl 
did the front end and that's working and I made the background for it as well and like the home screen thing because yeah we have two different things that you can do like jam which is create music through sign language and then band which is play the game like guitar hero or rock band Alan is stuck on trying to change the audio based on an event so he was trying to use I don't know how to say this I keep calling it aortic I have no idea there's some Python WebRTC thing, so I'm going to read this to see if we can figure out how to do that. Okay, Alan is MIA. One of the other girls realized she had math homework that she needs to hand in on a Saturday. The other girl is stuck on the machine learning because TensorFlow is just not installing properly. I told her to ask a mentor for help, so now she's in the queue for a mentor. And I need to fix the errors that they have with the, like, the two girls working on the front end. And I need to fix the rebase errors and then test it out and like hopefully we'll add more stuff. I don't know, front end. I didn't want to, I didn't want it to come to this that I had to work on React. <laughs> Okay, it's 11.36. I don't know where we're at right now. I'm trying to figure out how to add an image as a texture to 3JS because I want to add like the signs instead of the notes. Okay, so for some reason, this one's fine, but the other ones are getting these lines through them. I do not know why. Okay, it's 2 a.m. The ML is okay-ish. Uh, one of the girls, she hasn't gotten it to work yet. It's still running, but our current one that was bad, Alan figured out ways to like move his hands to make it like more accurate. So then that's really good. So we can still use it for like some specific letters. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. So we're gonna go to sleep and I'll probably wake up at like 6 or 6.30. And then I'll try working on connecting the front end and the back end using WebRTC, like cause we have front end in React and back end in Flask. So we need to connect those. And yeah, we have one girl who goes to Georgia Tech and we believe in her and she's like, this is not going to be fun at all. She's like, I can already tell <laughs> this is going to not be fun. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. No, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> We're trying to work together all on a Discord call. I requested mentor help because we can't connect the front end and the back end. The girl doesn't know the back end, how WebRTC works. Alan doesn't know how React works. And then they're both like, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. So yeah. And the new ML model did not help. Uh, so we're sticking with the old one that was slightly better. And yeah, I guess I'll write the dev post and try to make slides because doing a few hours, less than three hours. But then the judging is going to be so bad. It's on some website called OYA. And then the judges just enter your room and it's in a span of three hours it's from 10 40 to 1 40 pm what if we have to live demo it and then our stuff isn't connected it's gonna look so bad it's gonna be like oh here's the front end and here's where the video should be and here's the video working and it's <laughs> so bad i forgot about my tea and now it's all cold <laughs> that's sad but i'm gonna fix the slides and i can film the video for it oh yeah also this is one of the prizes that you could win but we did not try to go for this this is terrifying Got it connected. It ended up working out like this part where you can show it on the screen. It's just so slow, it's super laggy. So we need to improve the performance, but then that works. But then yeah, we didn't actually connect in those, <laughs> but in theory, it's a good project idea. I think it's pretty unique. Let me show you the slides. Yeah, we found a template and then fidgeting, ASL style to explain inspiration. Then the user flow, we could have colored this, but whatever, keep the theme. Then Alan's face, <laughs> band mode, uh, the technologies, and then that's it. Super fast. This is also a very interesting platform that they're using called Oye. Never even heard of it.
people have been coming into our room asking for this other team name so their judging system has the wrong numbers for a lot of people so now we don't know who's judging us and what's going on and this is all over the place so it kind of sucks and but it was nice because one guy he wasn't even supposed to be there but he's like oh like i'll still judge you guys because he's like an overall judge so we're like oh thank you so much sir <laughs> like thank you okay we presented to a few judges and one of them said it was the best presentation he saw so far we were like yes we were like screaming after he left